James, the brother of the Lord, taught and represented and uh, was known as represented. Now, where do I find that out? In Galatians. Galatians is the letter where Paul first refers in an unidentified, in an um, trammeled and um, incontestable manner. There he says, when I went up to Jerusalem after my vision at Damascus, I saw none other than James, the brother of the Lord, and Cephas, he says. Cephas is supposed to be uh, Peter. And by the way, he adds there, I do not lie. He often adds, I do not lie. And often when you, someone is swearing that he does not lie, you think sometimes that someone might be calling him a liar. Because he's very anxious to defer the accusation that he does not lie. Ah, well, this is verification of the fact that the Dead Sea Scrolls are calling the opponent of the righteous teacher the liar, the man of lying, or the spouter of lying. And he is an ideological, internal adversary. One of the incredible things about the Dead Sea Scrolls that makes them, anyone can interpret them any way. I can interpret them my way. So some Orthodox scholar from Harvard or Berkeley or uh, Oxford or the Ecole Biblique can interpret them the exact opposite way. They're infuriating documents because they never identify the people they're talking about. So they have all these uh, euphemisms, but they're terribly tantalizing. The spouter of lying, the comedian, the man of lying, I think all those are the same, the wicked priest, the righteous teacher. You say, oh, well, these are just abstractions. No, no, these are real people. Why, by the way, would you not identify somebody? Why would you not identify somebody uh, in a text? What would cause you not to do that? Well, there are many answers. I don't want to get everyone's answer in the room here, but one of the best answers, I think, really explains after much thinking about it. I think that's my personal answer. Fear of powerful outside forces that you can't be held down by who you're talking about that the secret police, the Gestapo, whomever else is involved in running around Palestine at that time, and the Romans had a very effective secret police organization, as did the Herodians, their puppet rulers in Palestine, that if they got a hold of the documents, they couldn't really, like Bill Clinton in the White House today, they couldn't really hold you down. They couldn't pin you down, but the co-religionists, the co-hearers, they knew what you were talking about. They knew who the liar was. They knew who the spouter of lying was. They knew who the wicked priest was responsible for the death of the righteous teacher. Now these documents, I don't know, um, how do you erase this stuff? It stays on there forever? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we can get rid of a little bit of this so I can, uh, uh, God, I don't know where to start. Oh, well, we'll try this here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. Should we, should we I'll try that? Okay, cool. Okay, well, uh, we're putting them to sleep yet? Okay. She wants me to stop in about an hour. I said, an hour? You'd all be dead by then, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm writing, for those of you who can't see it, the righteous teacher, the wicked priest, the spouter, or the lying spouter, the spouter of lies, or the liar, or the man of lying. There are two passages, at least, that I know personally where Paul speaks of, of the fact that he is not lying. There are several other ones. And it's really some extremely important passages where you wonder why he is taking that oath. And I believe the reason is because there are people who are calling him the liar elsewhere. And he is defending himself against that attack. Now that's what I mean about teasing material out of the sources. You really have to tease the material out of the sources. So for instance, in this Galatians letter, he identifies James as the leader of the early community in Palestine. He says it. Now, what James do we usually know from Scripture? 
James, the son of Zebedee. Sometimes I like to say zippity doodah, but no, James, the son of Zebedee. In my mind, that's pure disinformation. I don't ever believe there was any James, the son of Zebedee. This is a way of writing James out of Scripture. James, the son of Zebedee, Zebediah, Zebedee, um, the brother of, wait, 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 the brother of, it's supposed to be the brother of John. What a disappointment. That's the only James we know. And who's he? He's the great James, you know. And who's this other James? Oh, well, he pops up occasionally in the, in the list of apostles. What's his name? James the Less. He's Je the Less compared to who? Ah, oh, compared to James the Great. <laughs> but James the Great disappeared and never, and never did anything in the history of the early church at all. Where James the Less is presumably James the brother of Jesus, the leader of the early church, the closest living descendant of, of, um, of uh, uh, Jesus, who followed him in his death in Palestine and so on, who Paul acknowledges, was the person under whom he is subject to authority. And he does this in Galatians 1 or 2, in 1 and 2. How many here have read Galatians 1 and 2? I hesitate to urge you to read anything because I know that you'll take the orthodox view and you're a dead one. <laughs> you need instruction. That's why I wrote this whole book. <laughs> and you don't have to take my view, but then you can weigh my view with their view and make your own view. And that's the whole point. Sure, I'm prejudiced. I admit it. As Patton said in that movie, the thing I don't like about Montgomery is he didn't admit it. <laughs> but the point is, in any case, sure, sure, I have my axes to grind. I admit it. What you have to do is take all the data and you decide for yourself. I'll give you the data that we have from all these other sources, 900,000 pages worth about a person no one ever even heard of, or supposedly never even heard of, and then you'll see who's telling you the truth for yourselves. You'll evaluate the data and see if we're right or they're right. So in any case, we normally think of this James the Great, the son, the brother. But see, watch the brother. I show you in my book that the brother is a kind of shell game. It moves around. We say, ah, Peter, John, Peter, John, you've all heard this in catechism and early church training. Peter, John, and James, his brother. Whose brother? Oh, John's brother. No, no.